Hey guys, so I make now a little introduction just to see how this works. Hello for those who still remember me. My name is Maria de Piedad Ferreira. I am a Portuguese architect and I am teaching here at HFT. And at this moment we are all entering this new phase of extreme experimentation in the middle of chaos. Um, of course this corona si situation is all very serious and I feel very upset also by uh, the impact that this has had on the lives of so many people and also in our daily routines and how how we have to adjust to this unexpected situation and of course be worried and thinking what what's going to happen because we don't know so all our routines were disrupted we have to adjust very quickly we have to find new ways of interacting, new ways of working, new ways of staying healthy, staying active and also staying calm. So for me this was a big challenge now to come up with a new concept of how to teach you. Um, but I think it's also a good opportunity for all of us to explore new ways of learning, new ways of sharing what we already learn. Um, and so for this course which is Architetur Geschichte, uh, History of uh, Architecture. Um, I am planning to give you a series of uh, talks, a series of uh, lectures. You see I'm filming this in my, in my home office, so now you have a little bit an overview to my, uh, to my uh, privacy. <laughs> so welcome to my world, this is my lair. So this is the place where normally I uh, think about uh, plans and I think about how to execute them in, and put them in action. And here I have, of course, my books and my computer and my lamps and all the things that, you know, the technology that makes, that makes us work, that supports my work and my life. Um, and so for this course, what I'm planning to do with you, um, I have the texts here on my iPad. And this is going to basically support support the lecture that I give to you. And, and I thought it would be interesting if we make this, since we have this format now, if we make this a little bit like storytelling. Because I think that um, many of us have forgotten this wonderful tradition of storytelling. Before there were books, this is how knowledge was uh, transmitted. People would sit around a fire and they were at the end of the day and they would all be like sort of relaxed, but also in need of something exciting, something entertaining. And then people would tell stories. They would tell stories about their experiences. They would um, talk about myths that made sense to the culture or uh, then afterwards, of course, uh, religion, but also transmitting knowledge and experiences. And I think that this is a really good opportunity now that, that we have to use this, uh, that we can use this format to, to work. And so I will give you the content of the course through this way of storytelling. Uh, of course, the storytelling is not enough. So what I expect from you is that you will listen, you know, carefully, uh, curiously, attentively to the story, as I tell you the story here. But you will, of course, also have support materials. Uh, I will upload in the Moodle uh, platform every week when I make an upload of the video. You will also get the text, the same text that I, that I read here and that I story tell you. And I will also upload uh, the images. So. For each video when I'm telling, when I am narrating and, and telling you how, and telling you the content for, for the day, the lesson for the day. So you get, you get, you know, the facts, you get the story, uh, but you're supposed to be following in your handy, for example, or also parallel in the, in your computer screen. You can have, you know, my face a little bit smaller in the video or whatever, and then having on the side or on the handy or on the iPad, if you have another one. Uh, you should have the file uh, with the images. This will be sent to you as a PDF with all the images um, so that you can follow. So I will be reading the text for you. This is an example how the text is. 
and when there's an image I will make a link to the I, I will show you okay now this is the image we're talking about and I will make uh, I will say please look at figure in this case 1.1 1 .1, um, and I will make a comment on the figure and normally my comments on the figure they are not in the text so you will not get the comments the comments are only in the video so the idea is that you can really interlink the material you get the material you get from the video the material you get from the text which which uh, will be uploaded on uh, moodle and also the images which will also be uploaded on uh, moodle so you will have these three components and then what i expect from you uh, as an exercise because we still don't know if you will have an exam or if you will have a test but in any case i think that this is a very good opportunity for you to develop your capacities for a self-study not study of oneself but studying by oneself so self-studium um, and so what i expect from you is that this is your assignment with each video or each uh, lesson that i read you you have to listen to the material and then you can go through the text again and you have to make a synthesis of of the text and in this synthesis you have to make questions about the text and uh, you have to make a selection of from the facts that you learned what you found important uh, and for this you are absolutely free so the idea is that through this exercise you develop the capability of you yourself choosing what you found important in the text what you found interesting to remember and to develop your own critical judgment. Uh, this is an attitude that comes from philosophy or from science or from other area of knowledge that, of course, we learn from the sources, we learn from the books, from the authors who, you know, trailed all the way before us. Um, but we also have our own thinking head. And, you know, theories change all the time, facts change all the time, circumstances change all the time. and if you develop critical judgment, you can disagree. You can find, but why, why do I find this important? Or why don't I find that this important? Or is it really so? Perhaps, perhaps I would have another theory. Perhaps the theory is bullshit. But in any case, I think that most importantly, this is a good opportunity for you to develop capacity of study by yourself, choosing what is important, synthesizing a text images and audio information to select what's necessary to learn um, develop critical judgment so that you can make questions and think uh, about the text and and also you know writing the questions uh, sometimes when we have a question about something it means most of all that we were intrigued by what we heard but it means that our neurons in our head were trying to make sense and maybe they found something that didn't make sense or it shows that there was definitely a lack in our knowledge or understanding that this question is leading to so it's also a good opportunity to think why do i maybe this question tells me that i i myself with my limited knowledge like everybody else maybe i have a resistance to this information and where does this resistance come from and then from then on maybe you know you think well, maybe i'm not informed enough and maybe maybe i should read a little bit more about this and expand my perspective and see on this topic maybe maybe you know there is something to it so i get more curious and i try to learn more and then you know this becomes a little bit like a game it's a little bit like fishing you're like you wait for the you're not passive you're receptive to the information and then something you know picks up the hook and then you're like oh where's where is this going and i keep there and then more and more and more questions and more and more ideas come and so and then you kind of develop this constellation this uh, ever expanding universe of learning and yeah and growing so this is just a little introduction to tell you how this is going to work. Um, this is an experiment, but I think you're all bored. You're all a little bit confused. 
and we all need to you know establish a kind of sense of normality in the middle of all of this so we will we will do it like this and we will also have a little bit of fun um, I will upload the videos on YouTube because I think it's a very good platform and very accessible and it seems to work pretty well I still don't have experience but I think it will uh, work uh, I might do one or two live uh, lectures which might might be a little bit more interactive but in any case the announcements uh, I will put on Moodle the Aufgabe, what I just described, I will also put officially on uh, Moodle. And uh, what else? Maybe I'm forgetting something important. Ah, if you have questions, and for sure you will have questions, if you have comments, if you want to say, I didn't understand something, or I feel confused, or, you know, just write a comment. Um, below you know how youtube works i also chose chose youtube instead of skype and maybe i will use go to meeting uh, at one point i'm still i'm still thinking about it but i chose youtube because i think you know the, you are me and you we are not the generation that everybody every now and then or maybe a little bit more than every now and then checks some youtube videos so this is a format that we're all really pretty used to and uh of course, I'm not going to explain to you, you know, how I do my makeup every day and my hair routine. That's, that's not the kind of content we are using here. But, uh, but it's a content that we are all kind of familiar with. And it's, it's um, not a content, a format that we're all very familiar with. And it's a format that I think will work very well. So if you have questions, if you have comments, if you want to say something, please write it write it below uh, it's also good because then if you have a question and if you put it there then you know before writing a question you can always go through the list and see oh maybe someone already had this question and then you don't have you don't have to do it because you know it's um, it's also not necessary to make the same question uh, two times so so we we will have a kind of log below the below the videos with all the with all the questions and and the answers and yeah and we will see we will see how this experiment works it's also a little bit like an adventure <laughs> okay guys so this is just for you now to have a little bit of info i hope you are all healthy i hope uh, your relatives and your loved ones are also are also dealing well with this situation and yeah, stay active, stay calm, and stay safe. Bye-bye.